Growing up, I, I think one of your uh, first European races, you're in Italy and competing among other people against your current Formula One teammate, uh, Nico Rosberg. And a after the race, his dad, who's Formula One champion, comes up and congratulates you on winning the race. Um, how close did you and Nico become after that? I mean, I started racing against Nico in 1996, 97. And, you know, he was the golden child when I moved to Italy to race. I was this unknown kid and Nico was the golden child there because, you know, naturally being a Formula One world champion's son, the spot, he was in the spotlight, everyone was focused on him and he had the best of everything with the, with the top team. And to come up, and then come along, and I beat him in my first race, which was which was amazing. And our relationship started from there. And um, then we were teammates a few years later on, which we traveled everywhere together. Like, uh, you know, we didn't really take flights traveling around Italy, obviously. So we were always in the car. So many jokes, movies, fun things that we we did along the way. And um, yeah, and then when we got obviously older, when we moved into cars, he went to. Formula BMWs in like Europe or in Germany and I went to UK to do British Formula, Formula Renault and then we didn't speak for probably a couple of years and then came back into uh, eventually we got to Formula One. So, What's kind of unique and uh, unusual about Formula One is your teammate is also not your teammate. In this case, <laughs> right, not your teammate or your greatest rival and one of the guys you're trying to beat each week. So how strange is that dynamic? Um, and maybe yeah, less strange because you're in it, but from... No, from the outside, it's, it's contradictory to, to really what, because obviously, so we have the two championships within the one kind of championship battle, and, and one's the driver's championship and the other's the team constructor's championship. The team only, the team mostly cares about the constructor championship because that's what sells cars, that, so that's really, where we both come in as, as teammates. We've both got to score points. You know, you can't have one guy finishing first and one guy finishing 10th. You both need to score, particularly when you're up against a Ferrari who are banking points as well. So that's our, fun, that our, our core job. And then individually, we want to be the first. We want to be the one that's ahead. And you're always based off your teammate because um, they're in the same equipment as you. So it actually works out really well, and having that intense battle inside the team is—it has to be really carefully managed by the upper, you know, by the management. But they do a great job in this team. So, uh, you know, and as me and Nico get older and older, we get used to each other's ways, and um, you know, we've had our up, lots of ups and downs, but you know, really maturing a lot in in, in how we negotiate that, uh, that, that battle. Is it possible or even healthy to be as close to friends as you guys might have been back in the younger days? Well, it's not possible, because right? I don't think it's possible. I mean, we, 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 we have completely different lives. We do different things. Nico's married with a kid and, and grew up in a lot different area than, than I did. And, um, and you know, he's, he's a lot different than he was when we were you know, back that then. But then the reason we got on so well is because I was crazy and he happened to do some of the crazy things that I did too. So we kind of got on along well. And now he doesn't do any of those crazy things that I do and I still do all those crazy things. So naturally we've gone different uh, ways with different dynamics. But, um, you know, we've got our core, our core group of friends each. And, and with the intensity of a battle like we are having, it's, it's impossible to have that relation. You can't be friends. Yeah, yeah, win the world championship. No problem, buddy. <laughs> That's not how it right. goes, you know, like you know, what's going to win the championship, that's all that matters. For more clips from this interview, visit GrahamBensinger.com.